Hey everyone, so I'm gonna do a mini series. Um, one, mostly just to keep me accountable, but two, because I wanna share with you the things that we are listing. So each day I'm gonna show you a quick view of the things that we've got photographed and listed in our shop. All right, so the first thing that we've got are these Jose A. Banks, they're new with tags. Um, that's not a stain, it's just a spot from water. I had something up here. Um, they are a size 35. They're not super high dollar, um, but and we paid a couple bucks for them. Having the tags helps, so we've got those. The next is a pair of Vineyard Vines. They're 32 by 32. These are the Slim Fit Breaker Pant. I mean, they're in a salmon color. Thought they'd be good for Easter. I think I paid four dollars for those. Ooh, you see my light. We've got this swimsuit. It's a really cute one piece. It's got the skirt. Let me see. I don't even remember who who we have on here. There we go. That's right. Badkla Mishka. I'm gonna butcher it. Um, I have a couple of her suits and they are incredibly flattering. Um, I like this piece right here. It goes by your armpit. Um, kind of covers your armpit fat. Not that I have any, but just kidding. Um, this is a size 10, I believe. I couldn't find this suit on there um, used. I have there two that are on there with tags, and I think they're being listed at 75. So I'll have to check what we listed this one at, but how cute. This is a J. Crew sweater. I'm really trying to get my closet more spring and summer, but I couldn't resist the Frenchie. Um, you can tell it's the regular J. Crew store instead of the outlet because there's no diamonds on there. Got him. I paid four dollars for that one. And this like really pretty. Um, I'm a little sad because it didn't do as well as I thought it would. But this is a Free People, let me see if I remember right, the, oh gosh, um, twirl, I don't know, I will have to look it up. But it's got this really pretty beading on the top with these, got like the gold flecks. It's a size small. A lot of the ones I saw on Poshmark were listed as strapless because they were missing the straps. I have the straps, but I also like the bottom because it's got the tool. So I've got that. This was a Fairland, Fairlane, Fairland, a medium, slim fit. It's very Christmassy. I had never heard of this brand. Um, I was running late, so I just actually the rest of these shirts on here. I just snatched up. It looks like it did pretty good. We've got, oh no, the Victoria's Secret tank top. It's a size extra small. Um, I picked it up because you can't go wrong with the red, white, and blue. They're sequins. Um, it's not a huge money maker, but they will flip pretty fast. Now these, Donald Ross, I had never heard of them, but there are one, two, three, four of them. Um, I picked them up. I saw a lot of them have like logos right here, but they seem to do a little bit less than the plain ones. And I saw some of these plain ones going for about $30 a piece. So, and then for shoes. So for shoes, we've got five pairs of shoes listed today. Um, these first are these Skechers, they're really cute. They're new, a tag if they're my size, I'd keep them. Um, can't remember the name off the top of my list, or top of my head. Um, these are Zara Women. They are lace up flats. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny heel on them. Let's see if I'll zoom in. Zara Women, I think they're size 38. They have the calf hair on them. They're really cute. Um, 
These were in like new condition. And um, these Cole Haan, who was that? I don't know, I guess I wasn't paying attention. There's a little bit of damage right there, but the leather on them is really, really nice. Um, I thought they were really pretty. Handsome, men's shoes are handsome, right? And then we have these boots. Again, I'm not trying to do like winter stuff, but let me see. They were in pretty awesome shape. So I normally I don't. I still think I paid a little bit too much for them. Um, I think I paid 14, but we should do okay. If not, I'll throw them on Facebook and I'll get a quick sale out of it. And then these are also new with tag. These are Jambu. They're vegan shoes. I never heard of them, but. Uh, I saw the retail on them was a hundred bucks, so I think I there's some listed in other sizes, so I think I listed mine at fifty. So we're pretty competitive right in the middle. And then we've got two handbags. I feel like my color is way off on here, but um, the first is a bag lady. It's a new tag. It comes with the little wristlet in there. Um, I think it's a travel bag. I'll have to double check. So I got that one. And then this one I got because it's the embossed leather. I always butcher this name. Every single time. Can you see it? Taking out of my way to try. But it's got the embossed leather. Lots of pockets. Harder to unzip one handed. Um, the inside is pretty clean. I paid five bucks for it. So, it's an older one. It's pretty cool. I liked it. So, um, I think this one, I don't even remember. I have to put the list prices in the video with my super amazing editing lack of skills so my goal is to list about 20 to 25 items a day so I'm going to try to do these short videos I think keeping it this one so far is at like eight minutes so um try to give you an idea of what I'm buying what we're listing and then I'll try to put how much we listed it for and then when we do our sell videos you'll be able to see oh my gosh like they had that just last week or two days ago or they've had that like four months ago so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and if you have any questions or have any information on any of the brands that we showed you make sure to leave it in the comments below and actually you know what while you're here I just think I found something cool or I found something awful these I am NOT a sneakerhead I don't know anything really about sneakers um, and I almost passed on them because they're pretty rough. I'm going to have to really try cleaning them up. Do you have any tips on how to clean these? Um, but you can see, like, normally I pass on shoes that have, like, the tears right there. I think it's on this side. See how it has, like, the spots? But I saw... Can you see the hologram? I made the number 8, so I thought maybe these are, like, Kobe's. They're by Adidas, and when I looked them up, which you should know, you can always look shoes up by the number inside there. Um, Adidas are under the art number, and apparently, these were shoes that he wore in the dunk contest. Um, I think they're called Crazy 97s. And I guess this is like a, a rare color combo because I can't find it. But some of these, if they're in like good condition and people have boxes, I saw sold for three, four hundred dollars um, at the top of their, their list. I'm sure some colors are more desirable than others. Um, but like the treads were good, right? So I don't know if you have 
information on sneakers or if you're like a collector or you know anything should I have bought should I have passed like is this condition crap I figured for five bucks I'd pick it up I'm probably going to send these over to eBay um, and just see what they do um, if they do nothing they do nothing but before I invest all my time in cleaning them and like I said I'm not even sure the best way to clean clean some of that up but they're I mean they caught my eye because they're ugly <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to say that but Dustin thought they were cool but Dustin was also walking around with a gangster hat so leave your comments and your thoughts below and I will talk to you guys later bye guys